Hello everybody, my name is Jean McDonald and uh, today, this is Transition Tip Tuesday. So today I wanted to talk about recreating community. Uh, the entire world has been through quite a big transition in the last two years. That feeling of being isolated, the feelings of their worlds changing, jobs changed, the way we communicate changed. So many things have changed. And, and when we're going through a big transition like this, it's not uncommon to feel a sense of loneliness, of being even more emotionally isolated as well as physically isolated. And granted, we've all made the efforts. We communicate on Zoom. We, uh, we've we learned to connect to people in different ways. But what are some tips in order to now recreate a new community for yourself? And the first tip is to you, you know, first of all, you, um, often we need this kind of time to reconnect with ourselves. We're our greatest community. You've got to be your own best friend. And when you haven't been, maybe any time during your life, but uh, for some people, yeah, they've been their own worst enemy instead of their own friend. So first of all, you always use this time to uh, learn to increase your self-awareness. Learn to love yourself. Uh, there was this uh, technique, you know, if God loves you, then why can't you love you, you know? And and so to learn to, to look in the mirror and say, I love you, great technique. To be able to do that, and if it's uncomfortable, why? You know, sometimes you just need to keep doing it until it's not uncomfortable. The second tip is start to, this is a great opportunity to find uh, new communities for yourself. Communities that contain people that you have more in common with, that are more on your same energy level that are in the same place spiritually, um, yet they don't need to be in the same place physically anymore. Uh, so many people have connected now with people around the world for the first time versus just trying to find someone in your small community. And being in a small community, it is sometimes hard to find those people that we truly connect with on deeper levels. So this is an opportunity to find those groups, those people all over the world. And it's fun. Talk about uniting the world in a great play, great way. Uh, finding friends and, and community around the world. We have that opportunity now that we, we didn't take advantage of before. And the third tip is to be patient. You know, communities, community is reforming out of this pandemic. Some people are still afraid to go out. Uh, our area, the mask restrictions went down and we're surging back up again. So they're saying, wear a mask, go back to uh, not hugging each other because we were all so starved for hugs. We were all hugging and, and it was nice. It was nice to feel, truly feel people again. But, you know, until this pandemic's completely over, if it'll ever be completely over, we need to uh, connect within our own world. And so in my community, it's a small community. And one way that uh, Jerry and I connect is with music. We, we do an open mic on Tuesdays. We play at a VFW on Saturday nights. And we just keep putting ourselves out there. We don't get paid um, 
officially for it. We get we get tips at the VFW uh, enough to pay for gas <laughs> to get there, but we we do it out of love and and it's our connection to our community. It's also our gift to our community, and those that attend. Um, they connect, you know, to the live music. They connect to the humanness of our our uh, mistakes. Let's put it that way. But so for you, what are some ways, first of all, to love yourself more? Secondly, what are some ways in which to really con connect to those people around the world that share a certain love, a certain interest, a certain energy level, a certain spirituality. They're out there and it's a great time to find them. And third, take a look around your own community. It may be hard at first to find uh, some people that you want to connect with, but they're out there. They might be still very isolated, but See what you can do to not only connect with them, but allow them to connect to you. I think that's all I need to say about this today. So I appreciate you uh, being here. I enjoy any feedback and comments and your stories. That's what's really cool is is your stories. And speaking of your stories, we're going to be doing a uh, Toastmaster event on May 23rd uh, on discovering your own uh, passionate messages. Ta how to take your stories and start to, first of all, share them. Sometimes people share them for the first time in this workshop. And how to, to develop it to make it interesting for others. Because each of us have these great stories. So I'll put more about that event. Uh, uh, tomorrow night I'm doing uh, an event on how to create confidence for job interviews. And um, I'll put the information for both of those into Facebook. But until then, take care, connect to yourself, connect to others, share the love. And until next week, take care. Have a lovely week. Bye-bye.